Hi loves, today's video is going to be on baby must-haves for the first year of life and it's going to be a super casual and chill one because I'm just home with no makeup on and my glasses on per usual so it's going to be a chill one and also um, I've been meaning to film this video for quite a while now. My baby girl cares is a year and two months now. If you guys follow me on my vlog channel, Vlogs with Linda, you know how, or you follow um, my baby girl growing up and stuff, and just our fun times as new time parents, and I'm a new time mommy. And yeah, so today's video is gonna be full of things that we think is totally um, necessary for the first year of a baby's life. And sorry for the crinkling sounds because she's just over there playing with a candy bag, <laughs> empty candy bag. But um, yeah, um, my husband Alan's gonna be joining us as well to share some of his tips and tricks with you guys as well. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And what else do I have to say for this intro? I think so. That's the first must have much is the bunny here. It's called Bashful Bunny, and it's from the brand called Jelly Cat. And Kara's absolutely adores bunny it comes in a variety of colors we got it from um, chapters indigo and they sell it at different baby stores as well but it's from this brand right here jelly cat and it's just so soft and so plush and uh, we washed this a few times as well and it held up really well and she just absolutely loves bunny <laughs> as you guys can tell right there it's like her best friend she like cannot go to sleep or nap without this bunny and she just like loves it so she always cuddles with it and plays Second with it and must have it and everything. this baby monitor right here i really like this baby monitor it's from angel care and look how adorable this is it's like a little angel and this round or around here is actually a little um night light let me turn it on for you guys so you guys can see so when you turn it on it's a little night light and then this is the um what is this called again, baby? <laughs> this is our like hearing monitor. device, yeah, monitor. So you just turn it on like so. This one does not have video because uh, my husband Alan and I, I don't know, we just heard like little like horror stories about like video monitors that people can hack it and then look inside. So we kind of got freaked out, but um, so this is just a <laughs> She's going cray cray. Um, this is just a sound and monitor. So it's just a very basic monitor. It also came with a little um, thing you can uh, put under her crib, like a movement kind of alarm. So we don't really use that. So we just kept that in the box. But this is just a very basic, um, really good baby Hi. monitor Hi. system. You guys remember my husband, Alan, from a few videos on this channel? Yes, the latest every, one? <laughs> every time I film a video with Linda, I have a right on my mouth. <laughs> you need that blackhead mask <laughs> again. But we are in Karis's washroom right now. Because this is one of my favorite things and it's... We ended up putting a... I don't know what this thing is called, but it's like a flow restrictor for her shower head. I guess you can turn up the flow and turn it down kind of thing. And we have it to like a little trickle. Because when we showered Karis... Yep. Okay, I thought you were still filming. <laughs> but when we showered Karis, we were we were looking at videos before on how to how to bathe your baby as new parents and we were really scared. Yeah. And we noticed she was crying and we didn't know why and we I ended up putting up this on there because we figured out she was just cold when she's showering. So yeah. when we laid her when we laid her down, so when she showered we just turned on a trickle of water while one of us was just putting trickles of warm water all over her and the other one was like kind of scrubbing her she, so loved basically, she stopped crying yeah Alan is the one who sprays her with the warm water and I'm the one who washes her every day mm -hmm. so she really enjoyed that especially when you're a newborn mm -hmm. you get really cold very easily so we basically double teamed and did that and we had no problems of her crying yeah. during bath time we really really recommend getting one of these because when we first first bathed her she was just always crying yeah, that was from Home Depot? No, we bought this one at Costco. Costco. Yeah, it came oh. with the shower head. Oh, it came with the shower head. And this is the water pick, pick brand, right? Yeah. It looks also like one that of these. right there. You guys may be surprised, but after we take out cares to keep her warm, we blow dry her. Yeah, and she absolutely loves the warm air on her and it, you know, dries her pretty quickly as yeah. well. Blow dryer! Any <laughs> type will do. The fifth thing you must have is this diaper genie and this one is from the brand Playtex. And this thing actually keeps a lot of the odor of her stinky, stinky poo-poos out. So I'm really grateful for this. All you do is open it up. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> and then it has this little, um, what is this called? Charcoal smell filter kind of thingy. Yeah, basically to make the poo-poos, you know, 
disappear. Yeah. <laughs> and you just plop in the diaper and then close it. And if you guys look at it, it's actually got a double double lid. It actually traps more of the sun inside so it doesn't come back out. Yeah, so this is definitely a must have. Especially when your baby starts eating solids and it just reeks. Kara's like, no. Next baby must have yummy. is this HydraSense nasal aspirator. And we got the starter kit. It comes with this thing here. And it also comes with a uh, easy dose vials and five filters to change the filters. And basically what you, you what you do is basically put your mouth in this piece right here and then start sucking it. And you, this part goes into your baby's nostrils or nose. And especially when your baby has a cold and just a runny nose or even those hard to reach boogies. <laughs> you just suck it out and this thing is awesome. It works really, really well. And all you do is just take it apart afterwards and clean it. It's really simple and easy and I highly recommend this for you guys, especially on the days when your baby has runny nose and you know, just stuffed up nose. Definitely must have. Also, if you guys don't want to spend money on the extra filters, we actually didn't use any of the filters because the, the tube is so long. It doesn't, it doesn't, like when you suck it, it does, the boogers don't even go up your nose. So mm -hmm. you can definitely save your money on the filters. Or even if they just sell this by itself, you don't need the starter kit. I'm not too sure if they actually sell it like that, but if they do, and definitely just get this. Item number seven is a sleep sack. Well, let's see what it looks like. It's like that. It's it's basically just a little blanket with a zipper and arms to come out. This one's by the brand Halo, the Halo sleep sack. And when Karis was young, well, it's not that she was young. It's basically she babies kick a lot and they move a lot and. The blanket doesn't stay on her, whereas this one is just it's zipped up and she's basically wearing her blanket. Right now that she doesn't fit any more of these sleep sacks, we come find her in the middle of the night and her blanket just kicked all to one side and she sleeps like right here. And that's why we loved having the sleep sack. Because it's a blanket. It's a wearable blanket. <laughs> yeah. This one is made out of fleece because when she fit this blanket, it was quite cold. It was like the winter time. So um, it was perfect for her. And I really recommend this. She wore the sleep sack all the way up until how many months is this? Six to 12 months. And she got a 12 to 18 month, 18 month one as well. Right now she doesn't wear it because it's quite warm outside. So yeah, recommend this one. And next is baby clothing. Yep. We had a bunch of different kinds of baby clothing and this is the kind that we would buy if we ever had another baby and yeah. this one is like, how to explain it, it opens on both sides of the crotch <laughs> yeah. and it's got the f like socks and the mitts built in and it opens all the way to the top because we have some types of baby clothes where the, oh let me show you, it only opened on one side or it only opened like top down or kind of thing. Yeah, Just so this really one opens like both sides. So when it's time for diaper change, all you gotta do is open it here all the way up to like the belly area so she doesn't get cold, he or she. And it's just very easy for diaper changes. Whereas the other ones you have to like kind of pull it all off to get their legs are all exposed, the tummy is exposed. Yeah, and especially late at night, you don't wanna be dealing with that. And this is like the best onesie. And this one's from the brand Old Navy, but I'm pretty sure you can find it any other brands as well. Just find ones that open all the way down and on both sides of the legs, have a sock built in and a mitt built in especially when they're newborn stage when they're scratching and they're cold this is like so the, the nice best must have is this Aiden and Anai swaddling blankets it comes in a pack of three and these are just so soft like if you keep washing them it gets softer and softer and softer and the prints are really cute and pretty as well and it's actually a really gigantic big Waddler as well. This is actually made out of, I believe it's like muslin or something, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. But it's just super soft and it's super big as you can tell as well. So you can definitely swaddle your baby. You definitely just have to like half it and then swaddle, especially during newborn stage. Um, but this, yeah, you can use this as a swaddler. When she was little, I actually tied it around my neck. Yeah, tied it around my neck and use it as a uh, breastfeeding cover-up. She uses it as like a pillow right now and you can actually use it as like a bath towel as well. So it's definitely a lot of different uses for this. Highly recommend this Number one nine, well, this is my breast friend. I actually really love the name. This is my breastfeeding pillow. I actually use this until this day as well. I'm still breastfeeding her. And basically what you do is you just buckle it up like so. 
and don't I look super stylish? This is how it looks like on, and this is the back right here. It supports my back because of this thick foam piece right here as well. And it actually has a really like big front as well, so your baby can fit on newborn, and even now that she is like a gigantic baby, <laughs> she still fits on as well. Super comfortable, and I highly recommend this breastfeeding pillow. It actually has a little pocket if you wanna put little accessories in. I don't put anything in because I have you know my big comfy chair that I can put everything else on. Highly recommend this breastfeeding pillow though. It's so number 10 is this the money. changing pad right here. So it's actually a pad on the bottom and the changing pad cover as well. And also this changing pad liner. It's all from the brand Munchkin. And if you guys are interested, I'll list everything in the description box below and I'll try to link it for you guys as well. And basically, um, this liner is for when they're newborns, they have like milk poop explosion. So if you guys don't want to constantly wash the changing pad cover, this liner is awesome. Especially you can bring it around with you as well. So you just take this off and wash it and you're good to go. You don't even have to wash this cover here. So it's perfect for newborn stage when they have poopy diapers. They also have this like plastic -y... bottom as well because it's kind of like waterproof so even if they have a pee accident as well it just goes on and it doesn't leak everywhere so I really love this and recommend it to you guys and it's it washes 11 really nicely must have as well. is this white warmer from Lionheart I believe and basically you just put your baby wipes in here and it has this um, pad down here that you have to keep wet and it keeps your wipes nice and moist and also warm for your baby's tush as well especially during um, like I said newborn stage they're really sensitive to the cold and when the wipes are warm it's just more you know soothing for them so it's not a complete shock when they're uh, like a cold wipe is going to their bum in the middle of the night so it just a nice Next, um, this is Bron Ear Baby Ear Thermometer. We bought this just in case your baby ever has a fever and you're not sure what you're supposed to do or you're supposed to feed them medicine or anything. Our doctor did say we don't need this, but we we just really like having it around because Karis this one night had a really high fever and she was burning up for like two or three hours and we didn't know what to do and we actually had to call the emergency hotline and they just told us to monitor her temperature and just to see how high it gets. If it gets too high, then we have to go to the emergency room. We kept watching her and we fed her some talent. It was okay, so it was just nice must to have. have. is bibs. You can never have enough bibs. I want to compare three different bibs that we used for you guys. This one is from Joe Fresh. Don't mind the little stain there. <laughs> it's just a basic bib. This one's from Carter's here. So this one was only really good when she was kind of uh, like newborn stage and wasn't like spitting up too much because it's just a basic bib um, that you just wipe their face with and everything it's nothing too like waterproof or anything so I don't really like recommend these type of bibs but I do really like this bib it's from the brand Carter's and this one has a well this one's just a basic velcro kind of deal here and this one is a button closure so it's more secure especially when they're kind of grabbing onto everything and what I like about this bib is that the back here, it's actually inside, it's kind of like a waterproof kind of backing. It's kind of like, you guys can hear, it kind of has like this texture back here. So it's more waterproof. So if you spill or if they spit up or if they're drinking their milk and it leaks onto here, it doesn't leak onto their clothing and their chest. So I really recommend these types of bibs. I absolutely love it, especially when they're spitting up and, you know, drinking their milk and everything. And this bib here is from the brand Tommy Tippy. It's more of like a plastic material and it has different kind of closures here so you can adjust it to their neck size. And what I love about this, especially now that she's feeding herself and eating solids, is this pouch right here. It's a miracle. It catches like most of the food because sometimes the food like she kind of like uh, throws. <laughs> but this one catches most of it and it's very easy to clean as well. You can even just like hand clean it or you can put it in your dishwasher, I believe, the top rack. Pretty sure you can. That's what I read on the thing. I, I have to double check that, but I and really And another love cool this thing right that here. my husband wanted me to add, actually he pressured me into adding into this I video. <laughs> that when the food drops, Kara's actually um, likes to stick her little hands in here and get the food that she actually dropped in here. So we think it's really cute as well. So really Next recommend must this have bit. is this high chair right here. 
I absolutely love this high chair and would recommend it to all of you guys out there. Um, it's the Peg Perego Siesta and we got it in the black leather version. And what I really love about this high chair is it can recline like so. So when you're a newborn and they are sleepy and you're still eating like breakfast or lunch or whatever, you can just, you know, take your feet or even your hands right here and just um, suit them to bed right like, like that. And it also has like this massive tray that has a, another tray on top um, that you can clip on and then you can just easily take it off and wash it. It's being washed right now. So I don't have it to show you guys, but this tray, you basically just take it off like so and it stores like that. You can just clip it onto the front of this chair and the baby eats. And I really like it because it has wheels as well. So you can definitely push it around the house and you can lock the wheels and it's just a really good high chair. Easy to clean as well because it's leather so you can just wipe it with a cloth because this thing definitely gets messy <laughs> now that she's eating solid. And you know, when they're eating um, puree food, sometimes they kind of take it out of their mouths and like smear it everywhere so it's very easy and to I've been corrected well. by hubby it's not leather it's made Next out thing of we have vinyl a baby sterilizer we actually bought this one because it's got compartments and it actually just you can take it apart use one or two and you just fill it up with water and it sterilizes everything in about eight minutes we actually really love this because we after we, we were done with the bottles and she started eating solids we froze and made her own food and we use this as a steamer and with one cycle of steam it actually heats up her food really nicely so from frozen all the way to hot and then just cool it down until your baby can eat it it was a lot better than bringing out a whole steamer and turning on your stove and everything yeah so it's definitely double usage and i really like how it's like layered as well so the bottoms you can keep all of her bottles and everything that's big and then on top you can put her nipples, her pacifiers, you know, her spoons and everything. So, um, you know, it's a really good sterilizer. And it's from the brand Philips Avant. And it's just very easy to use, super easy to clean as well. Is, I'm going to group all of these together. The first thing is these baby spoons from the brand Playtex. I really like this because it has like a rubbery, flexible texture and it's quite flexible as well. And I looked at a lot of spoons and as you guys can see, this spoon is kind of on like the slim flat side. So it's easy to put the solids or the parade food into your baby's mouth without like having leftover in the spoon. So everything gets into your baby's mouth. And in the front there, it has like sort of like a flat edge. So it's easy to like scrape the leftover food off of your baby's face so it doesn't get too messy. So I really enjoy these spoons and it comes in a different variety of colors as well. So I recommend those. And this one here, I forgot which brand it is, but I have to um, check online. But this is a baby tooth brush I like how it has these little nubs here so when your baby is teething it kind of massages his or her gums on that side and this side has little um, teeth so it brushes your baby's teeth without being too harsh and this thing actually just goes on your finger like that and then you can have control when you're brushing your baby's little little teeth and it's um, sort of plasticky as well so it's very easy to clean afterwards and this one here I think the brand is called Mam or something I'm not too sure I have to double check I'll list it down below but um, it's this little pacifier uh, what is it called clip. clip holder so you just clip this onto your baby's clothes and you can adjust it how tight you want it with this little plastic piece here and then it has this little string with a little velcro that you can just take off the pacifier pacifier very easily and you just clip it on like that so when your baby is finished sucking the pacifier it doesn't the pacifier just just doesn't drop on the floor it just secures to the baby's clothes so you have a nice clean pacifier i think this is the brand nuck i think nuck yeah n-u-k oh yeah nook or something it came with a toothpaste as well peg prego rialto i think it's called this is our portable high chair that we absolutely love. We still use it till this day. And we were debating between this and a lobster chair and we picked this because we eat at more casual restaurants and sometimes the tables are more wobbly. So we thought it'd be better to secure the chair under the chair. And we love it because the tray just comes off just like this. You can bring it home, clean it. 
and then the chair after you unbuckle it, it just folds up into a nice little piece for you to bring home. And it has this oh. bag. <laughs> oh yeah, it came <laughs> with a bag it. that you can just put everything in. And you're off to go. And you're off to go. It's not like a big, low-key, clunky high chair for you to take okay, around. Okay, so second last must-have are baby toys. Um, Karis loved this one. It's Captain Calamari from the brand Le Mans. And she liked it when we put it on her car seat. We just hung it on her car seat. And this one makes like scrunchy noises on its hat. It has different textures and colors as well. So it has like little crunchy ones. And she just loved like looking at it when she was newborn. And once she got a little bit older, she started playing with these little rings. And it actually has like a peekaboo mirror inside. So she can totally like look at herself when it's hanging on her car seat. And it has this little rattly toy that she absolutely loves. So it kept her entertained when and we are out and about and the second thing animal or the little toy that she loved was from the brand Infantino and this is called I think it's like Tipsy Turtle, Tipsy turtle or Topsy Turtle or something oh, yeah, like that. Topsy turtle. I'm not too sure but she really liked this one as well this was a little bit smaller as you guys can see Captain Kelly Mari is a little bit longer so it kind of got into her face a few times <laughs> but um, she really liked this one as well this one has like a little bell inside this one scrunches up and it's super colorful and girly as well and this one has um, a mirror inside as well so she can totally look at herself so definitely must have toys for and the last the must have seat. is a baby carrier carousel is going to be my demo um, model here. <laughs> um, this brand is from Infantino. It's definitely a basic uh, carrier, but we definitely think that you guys need it. It's a must-have. Um, when she was younger, she loved being in here, and also she loved facing forward because she just likes to explore everything and see everything, and she was just very curious. So this is a front-facing carrier, and also you can flip them when they're a little bit smaller. You can flip them um, towards your chest as well, and it actually you can wear it as a back pack style so that you can put them on your back instead of the front and this is a so far it's a really good carrier for longer longer periods um, the shoulder pads here it kind of um, digs in it kind of um, hurts a little bit only if you're going for like a super long walk like I would say two three hours but overall if you're just running errands and stuff this is a pretty good carrier it actually has like a little buckle on the back as well so definitely must have is a baby carrier hands free oh, wait, one more thing is know. sometimes the baby carrier is actually better for us because um, she didn't really like being in a stroller. Sometimes she just wanted to be close to us and just explore the world with us. So definitely so that's it for our baby must-have videos for the first year of life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys. And yeah, I'll have everything listed in the description box down below if you guys are interested as well. And I think that's pretty much it, right? I think so because we tested everything. We told you guys everything we actually liked and found used. very useful yeah. and used. Yeah. So yeah, those are the things that got us through the first year of this little girl's life. So um, hopefully it's helpful to you as well. And that's pretty much it for this video. We gotta change her diaper now and put her down for a nap because as you guys can see, she's getting quite restless. <laughs> so should we do a baby's must not have video after? <laughs> no. Oh, <okay. laughs> see you guys next time. Bye. See you guys later. Bye bye. Go like this. Okay, not manly enough. <laughs>